current affairs headlines. ISRO launched eight satellites in two different orbits. R. Ashwin becomes fastest Indian and second overall to take 200 test wickets. Tamil film Visaranai is India's official entry for 2017 Oscars. India-Russia joint military exercise Indra 2016 begins. Alexander Zverev wins St. Petersburg Open Men's Singles title. First Russia-Pakistan joint military exercise Druzhba 2016 begins in Cherat. Mission Parivar Vikas to be launched in seven states for improved family planning services. UN Security Council adopts resolution on nuclear non-proliferation and nuclear disarmament. Indian Army conducts surgical strikes across line of control in POK. Telugu writer Professor Kalakuri Enoch conferred 29th Murthy Devi Award. Union Cabinet approves ratification of Paris Agreement. World's first baby born from new procedure using DNA of three people. World Bank reappoints Jim Yong Kim for second term as president. U.S. appoints Jeffrey De Laurentiis as first Cuban ambassador in 55 years. Global Competitiveness Report 2016-17 released by World Economic Forum, India moves to 39th spot. Current affairs in detail. ISRO launched eight satellites in two different orbits. The satellites were launched with the PSLV C-35 from Sriharikota. The eight satellites include three from India and five from Algeria, US and Canada. Indian satellites were CATSAT-1, Pratham and PISAT. Weather satellite CATSAT-1 was inserted in Polar Sun synchronous orbit of 730 km height. R. Ashwin becomes first Indian and second overall to take 200 test wickets. He achieved the feat in his 37th test played at Green Park in Kanpur against New Zealand. He trapped New Zealand's skipper Kane Williamson as his 200th wicket. Australian Clary Grimmett got the double century in 36 tests. With this, Ashwin left behind the likes of Dennis Lilly and Walker Younes and Dale Steyn. Tamil film Visaranai is India's official entry for 2017 Oscar. Visaranai is directed by Vithrimaran and produced by Dhanush's Wonderbar Films. It was selected in the foreign language film category for the 89th Academy Awards. The film is based on true events recorded in novel Lock Up written by M Chandra Kumar. The film documents four migrant workers who suffer police brutality and corruption after being jailed on false charges. India Russia joint military exercise Indra 2016 begins. This is the 8th edition of India Russia joint military exercise Indra 2016. It started in the Usyrsk district in Vladivostok, Russia. Main focus of the exercise is on counter-terrorism operations in semi-mountainous and jungle terrain under United Nations mandate. India was represented by soldiers from the Kumau Regiment and Russia by soldiers from the 59th Motorized Infantry Brigade. Alexander Zverev wins St. Petersburg Open Men's Singles title. Alexander Zverev defeated Stan Wawrinka by 6-2, 3-6, 7-5 to win the title. With this, Zverev becomes the first man to beat Wawrinka in a tour final since 2013. St. Petersburg Open is a professional men's tennis tournament played on indoor hard courts. Milos Raonic was the winner of the 2015 St. Petersburg Open men's singles title. First Russia-Pakistan joint military exercise Druzhba 2016 begins in Cherat. The drills are being conducted at Rattu and Cherat. About 200 soldiers from both the sides are taking part in the two-week exercise. It aims at developing coordination in carrying out practice combat tasks in a mountainous environment. The exercise will conclude on 10th October 2016. Mission Parivar Vikas to be launched in seven states for improved family planning services. The mission has been launched in 145 high-focus districts in seven states. The seven states are Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, and Assam. 
Its main objective is to accelerate access to high-quality family planning choices. The focus area of the initiative will be on improving access to contraceptives through delivering assured services, etc. UN Security Council adopts resolution on nuclear non-proliferation and nuclear disarmament. The Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty bans all nuclear explosions for both civilian and military purposes. The treaty garnered 14 votes in favour and one abstention, Egypt. 183 states have signed the treaty and 166 states have deposited their instruments of ratification. The treaty will enter into force 180 days after the date of deposit of the instruments of ratification by all. Indian Army conducts surgical strikes across line of control in POK. It was carried out by para-special forces and ghatak platoons of local units. Motive was to hit out at terrorists who were planning to infiltrate into Indian territory. Surgical strike is swift and targeted attack with the aim of minimum collateral damage to civilians. Seven terror launch pads were destroyed in which about 38 terrorists were killed. Telugu writer Professor Kala Kaluri Enoch conferred 29th Murti Devi Award. The award was given for his novel Ananta Jeevanam. The novel was thought-provoking as it depicted the struggle of the common man of Rayala Seema. This is the first time a Telugu writer was selected for the award. Murti Devi Award was founded by Bhartya Gyanpeet and is presented annually. Union Cabinet approves ratification of Paris Agreement. Paris Agreement gives thrust to the global actions to address climate change. India's decision to ratify will take the number of cumulative level of emission of countries to 51.89%. It will underline India's responsive leadership to global cause of environmental protection. A total of 191 countries have signed to the Paris Agreement so far. The world's first baby born from new procedure using DNA of three people. The baby boy was born on 6th April 2016 to Jordanian parents in Mexico. The baby was born using technology called mitochondrial donation. The baby has the usual DNA from his parents and a small amount of genetic code from a donor. The two most common techniques in mitochondrial donation are pro-nuclear transfer and maternal spindle transfer. World Bank reappoints Jim Yong Kim for second term as president. Jim Yong Kim's second term as World Bank's president will start from 1st July 2017. He is a South Korean American physician and anthropologist. He has been serving as the 12th president of the World Bank since 1st July 2012. He was named the world's 50th most powerful person by Forbes magazine in 2013. US appoints Jeffrey De Laurentiis as first Cuban ambassador in 55 years. He was appointed by President Barack Obama to normalize relations with Cuba. Appointment will need approval from the Republican-led Senate that opposes to dealings with the communist island. Jeffrey has been working at US Embassy in Havana since 2014. The two countries broke off relations in 1961, after the Communist Revolution. Global Competitiveness Report 2016-2017 released by World Economic Forum, India moves to 39th spot. The report assesses the competitiveness landscape of 138 economies. India has jumped 16 places in the GCI report to occupy the 39th spot. Switzerland, Singapore and the US remain as the world's most competitive economies. China ranks 28 in the index. For more on current affairs, log on to jagranjosh.com.